First of all, Chief Meteorologist Scott Paget joining us right now. Can you give us a little more context on these particular wildfires, especially seeing how much acres, how much acre of acres of land is being burned right now. Yeah, and the context is that during this time of the year, it's prime fire weather season for us. Uh, so the panhandle, even here in North Texas, a lot of the vegetation is dormant. So uh, really not a lot of green out there. And you can see that yesterday uh, we had temperatures really drop for us overnight into the morning hours. Uh, behind that, we had a strong pressure gradient, which means uh, windy conditions. Last night at this time, winds were gusting up to 54 miles per hour. Now that cold air that we were just talking about, it's now 31 to Degrees in Amarillo. So below the freezing mark, you see a lot of Oklahoma near the freezing mark or below. Uh, the winds are still going to be out of the south, and then the smoke plume is going to now go through parts of western sides of Kansas, and they continue to travel its way off towards parts of Canada. And that's about a 1,200 mile journey from about Amarillo to near Winnipeg. Uh, the winds will start to pick up as we get a bit warmer, though, going into Friday and the end of the weekend. As I mentioned, February, March, April, windiest months, dry air on the north and west winds, and that dormant vegetation. Something to keep in mind. Also, keep in mind you still need your winter coat because our temperatures are 30 to 40 degrees colder than this time last night. It still is cold enough. You need the winter weather gear. We're down to 38 in Bowie to 39 in Gainesville. You're going to wake up to temperatures in the 30s to the 40s, and tomorrow we might make it to 50, but don't worry, by Friday we're back to 75. More on that.